what's it just been like this spring to you know have you have your dad coaching and you know maybe what's the biggest hurdle when you know, obviously he's your dad and you have a different relationship than than everybody else but I'm right. not sure he wants to treat you the same as every other player so his biggest hurdle is making sure we're seeing things the same way you know like from the from quarterback to the receiver room making sure we're on the same timing same mind frame but in terms of being being uh, on the field my dad has been a dream come true uh, he's never actually been an organized coach of mine so you know being able to catch uh, you know insight from him on the field off the field has been something that's that's a dream come true to me were you headed to play wide receiver regardless of whether or not he was coming or was right. that a move that you just made and said you know I'd like to play for my dad yeah it was an ongoing discussion with me and coach Chris I actually told coach Chris I want to play a receiver um, I didn't know anything about the, the hiring until later on after I asked Coach Chris, like, can I play? He was like, you know, if that's what you feel like you want to do. So, so he, he never, like, let on that he was looking at your dad or anything like that? No. <laughs> so what was your reaction? My reaction at first, I kind of didn't believe it. I really thought that it was a joke. But um, once, he, once we sat down and talked with him about it as a family, it was an opportunity that, you know, something that you get, get once in a lifetime, you don't want to pass up. When did your dad actually tell you that he was being looked at for that job? Um, you know, a time frame, I can't remember a specific time frame. I remember it was after the Las Vegas Bowl. Was it, you know, an easy decision for him because, you know, you were here or, you know, obviously being in the NFL, coming, right. coming to college, somebody looked at that as a step down. Uh, it was just something, you know, he, he felt he had to grapple with at all. Well, you know, I feel like you just have to look at it as, is it going to be great for the family? That's really what, you know, because I have a younger brother, younger sister, my mom, um, an older sister. So just being able to, you know, is it going to be good for the family? And then, you know, is it going to be a good career move next? That's really what you would think about. And, you know, the chance to call plays at a, a university like Wisconsin, you know, you got a lot of young talents to work with. I think, I think we're going to do a lot of great things. There's a very real chance you'd be the number one corner on this team if you had stayed on defense. What was just the rationale behind moving to wide receiver, and what was the coaching staff's reaction? You know, they told them not be losing their, they're going to be losing their most experienced cornerback. Well, you know, at the end of the day, offense, defense, it comes down to making plays on the ball. You know, can you make plays? Can you change the game? So whether I'm lining up in a DB sense, wide receiver sense, nothing's really going to change. Um, in terms of the coaching staff reaction, you know, everybody, you know, we're all ready, ready to get to work. Everybody knows that we have one goal, and that's to you know win on the Saturday. So that's the main goal. Is it easier transition at least the spring? Because I'm guessing you you go out and line up, and you kind of already know the defense inside and out, and, and right. know how you're going to be covered. Obviously, that'll be different when you you play opponents. But but has it been an easy transition this spring? Just because you know you know how to read that defense and know what they're know what's already going through their head before that ball snapped. Or? Right. In terms of knowledge, it's been about learning the offensive playbook, and then learning how I can use my defensive knowledge in reverse. So knowing what the defense is going to do and how they're going to guard me is something that um, I take pride in. You know, we've, I've spent a good amount of time on the defensive side of the ball. So just, you know, that transition to learning how I really want to use that knowledge um, is, is something I'm looking forward to. I think a lot of people recruited you as a wide receiver in high school, right? Right. What, what, what was the, um, you know, was there any discussion with Wisconsin at, at first or were you always a DB for them? You know, for Wisconsin and some other universities, I was an athlete offered as an athlete, you know, and then when I started getting deeper into my recruiting process, I realized I want to play DB, um, you know, and where better you want to do that other than under Coach Leonard in a pro-style defense, you know, with a lot of great leaders. So, you know, that's really what it came down to. Um, you know, offense or defense, it didn't, it didn't matter to me too much in high school because I played both, but once I started getting into, okay, where do I want to go to school, Wisconsin stood out to me the most. I think when you left uh, cornerback, you know, a lot of people thought, okay, how's that position going to be? Looks like they picked up some good transfers, though. What, what have you thought about the guys that have moved into your spot, you know, specifically the transfers and how deep you are on cornerback? I feel like, you know, we're really ready. Um, the guys that we brought in are really, um, you know, solid in their technique. They work hard every day. You know, they're fun to go against. So I feel like we're going to be really great. And, you know, you can't, can't, uh... sorry, I lost my train of thought, but you can't, um, You can't not love to compete, you know, with guys that are just coming into the program and, you know, they've been able to work really hard throughout the spring ball practice, so it's been really fun. What's going to be the, the biggest adjustment for you once fall camp hits in order you know, you think that determines whether or not you see the field consistently at wide receiver this season? Um, the adjustment is just going to be, you know, continuing to learn the playbook, continuing to grow with my teammates, and just seeing how, how we can feed off each other and make plays.
has the uh, transition been what you thought it would be? I mean, you had played this in high school. I'm right. sure you didn't make this move thinking I'm going to sit on the bench. Like, mm -hmm. Has it been what you thought it would be? You know, it's it was all just about how I can really help the team, whereas my value greatest for the team. And um, with the um, with Ferg and Danny and, you know, KP leaving, we had a little bit of a void on the offensive side of the ball. And, you know, something that I feel like I can bring to the table is something that I feel like the team needed at the time. It seems like